Hey there, everybody. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back from Italy. I missed you guys so much while I was gone. It was uh, an incredible, memorable dream of a trip. Um, I missed y'all, so I'm happy to see you. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I, I do have a couple new journals for the shop today. And I do plan a tutorial for my, my big fat uh, travel journal that I made from a paper bag, a paper gift bag. And I'll just let you kind of peek in here really quick. I did not get a lot of journaling done. And the reason was that we were just moving from place to place to place. We were out all day long and then when we got home at night it was late and it was just time to go to bed and start the next day so I did not get very much journaling done now the downside to that was I didn't get a lot of journaling done the upside to that was I spent time with my sister and we hardly ever get to spend like a lot of time together she lives in another state and she is my bestest friend and that's the upside to not being able to do much in my journal but I gotta tell you guys it worked great you know we um, I think I, I showed you a little bit about how it was gonna work and it worked exactly like I thought it would this became a repository for a lot of papers and postcards and things like that which I've already taken out because I'm already uh, planning um, you know, planning my, my um, planning how to incorporate all of my ephemera into this journal. So we'll be having a lot of journal pages uh, kind of videos coming up for you guys because, oh my gosh, the paper, the paper, the paper. I actually started leaving clothing. Um, and I left clothes in Venice, I left clothes in Florence, and I left clothes in Rome because I was gathering so much paper for you guys. I have to tell you, y'all, the paper is so beautiful. I mean, like, you just don't pick up anything that does not have gorgeous imagery on it. You know, in the t Italian language, everything is beautiful. Everything in Italy to me as a novice traveler was beautiful and I certainly did enjoy being there with my sister and my brother-in-law so let's just let's take a peek inside these journals like I said they'll go in the store today and I have incorporated the Italian ephemera into into these old journals this is a new fabric and when I got home Carol Stanley thank you Carol had a big box uh, that was delivered to me while I was away and it had this fabric in it and I just thought it was so pretty so of course I, I immediately pressed that fabric into <laughs> into use um, uh, this is finished with a you know just a typical bead strand. Um, I liked the I like the gray and the yellow together. It just looked really really super cool. Um, it's finished off with a mixture of a few plastic beads and some glass beads. Let's take a peek inside. And as we're kind of going through here, I'll explain a little bit about my trip. But I got to tell you guys that it was so extensive and there was so much to see and so much to do that Italy, pretty much May is Italy month. And <laughs> I hope you don't mind stories and travelogues from, from my adventures. Uh, this little book starts out with with a, uh, a lovely little piece. This was gleaned from a calendar that says breathe. And that's kind of what you have to do when you're traveling. Uh, like I said, I had never been overseas before. I was, I was traveling with experienced travelers. My sister is a former, a former, um, a former stewardess, as she was called back then, a flight attendant. And my brother-in-law is a tour professional. His next tour is Paul Simon. So he has been all over the world several times. 
and it was a joy to go with them because they kind of knew what to do, you know, they, they knew what to do, what to expect, and I didn't know anything, so I, I felt like a 60-year-old child. If you're new to this station, my, my sister and my brother-in-law surprised me with a 60th birthday trip to, to see Venice and Florence and Rome. So if you're new here, that's why I haven't been here very much the past month. Uh, we always start with your story, and you know, particularly now, it's spring, things are blooming, things are changing, you know, we're watching the world kind of come back to life. It's a perfect time to write a new story for yourself if, if you're not happy with the story of your life, and everybody has one. Um, this is a super cool little tag that says hold. We used to use these. Uh, I worked in an upscale dress shop many, many, many years ago um, in the early 80s. And we would use these to put on, uh, you, you know, you'd slip them over the hanger when you sold someone a dress and you were going to hold that dress for them until they picked it up. So the, this this little hold tag brought back a lot of memories. All right, we are into our Italian ephemera. This is a now look at this. See, this is a a, a, a not to go menu. They call it takeout. This is a takeout menu from um, a restaurant. And you can see that they've listed all of your nice things to eat right here. Um, you know, everything's in euro, so that you can see that it's 9 euro or um, 16 euro, depending on your, you know, your portion size here. Um, when you eat in Italy, it is an experience. Uh, you are not hurried through your meal. They believe in allowing you to sit. They believe in appetizers. Uh, when we, now I gotta point out, we, we are not big drinkers. So, you know, uh, we would have the occasional glass of Prosecco and um, a beer or something like that. We'd, we're just not, we're not big drinkers. But the cool thing is when you order drinks, uh, they, they, well, you can ask for olives and chips, and they bring you olives and chips. And now this is not put on some sort of styrofoam plate, y'all. Uh, your, your, the presentation is remarkable there. Uh, our olives and chips were always served piled high in parfait glasses. Just, <laughs> I can't say enough about that. You you guys know how much I love a, a good presentation and a good table setting. So, boy, I got a good dose of that. More about that, of course, in, in, um, in later videos. The Leonardo da Vinci Museum was in Florence. Now, I was super excited. I thought, well, that's going to be fun. But it was a children's museum and contained not Leonardo pieces, but... Um, you know, uh, facsimiles that kids could play with and that sort of thing. But, you know, I, I thought that this was very, very beautiful. And I did get to see a Leonardo da Vinci at the Uffizi Museum. Uh, more about that later. Um, we, we took the high-speed train from Venice to Florence, so I got to see Tuscany out the windows of the high-speed train, which was super cool. We've got our usual uh, bird ephemera in here, and speaking of birds, oh my gosh, St. Mark's Square in Venice has more birds than I have ever seen in one place in my life. Pigeons and seagulls, and people feed the pigeons, and you're not supposed to, um, but it's pretty funny because those pigeons really do like to eat, and they will fly almost fly into you like it looks like they're going to fly in your face uh, and they they swoop themselves off at the last <laughs> at the last minute but it's crazy uh, so don't feed the pigeons or the seagulls when when you're at St. Mark's Square in Venice I um our friend Carol Stanley sent us some home plans and I just think they're super cool uh, so it did include some home plans in here I I was away from home, you know, for 12 days. And I cannot tell you 
how much I missed my home. I missed it a whole lot more than I thought I would. I knew that I was going to miss, you know, my doggies and my guy. I did not know that I was going to miss the familiarity of every day, you know, the little nuances of every day, the uh, minutia, the, the small little details like the coffee pot and, and that sort of thing. And, and that, was, uh, that was, look, a beautiful map on the back of that takeaway menu uh, in Florence, which is Firenze, uh, but that is Florence. And I was so happy to get back home. Um, and I kind of just walked around my house, and, and I'm still kind of getting familiar with things again. When you've been away for a long time, and when you've been away in a faraway place where nothing at all is familiar, it's enchanting and wonderful, but it's also kind of unsettling at the same time. It's, it's hard to explain that feeling. You know, you, you're, not, you're not hearing people speak your language. You, you, the food is different. Um, the accommodations are different. Everything's different. But anyway, uh, I, so I thought the home plans just kind of fit in with, you know, what I'm feeling at the moment and maybe an appreciation for home uh, it will remind you of, of, you know, loving your house and, and allowing your house to love you back. This is an envelope of fun things for you to play with, fabrics, uh, paper scraps, things like that. Carol also sent these funny little cards. Now these are well balanced birds, and of course this is this is our our bird signature. So that was pretty funny, really sweet. And of course we do have our texture elements in here. We have a napkin, deli paper, tissue, bling, uh, prima flowers, metal tape, wood, styrofoam, chipboard, grunge board, cardboard, metal, bubble wrap and uh, gloss photo paper. Now, these are all things for you to play with. If I will put an iCard up here into the, an iCard that links to my tutorial about how to use this particular signature in these journals. And I will stick that up, up top in an iCard. Carol also <laughs> sent us, you aren't gonna believe this, skeleton keys. So we now have a few skeleton keys as our metal element in our texture signature. In a way, uh, they have actual keys. Uh, you don't swipe a card. Uh, the hotels that we stayed in had, had a key. Uh, the last hotel that we stayed in in Rome did not have a key. Uh, but the rest of them had keys, and they were they were on these huge tassels. And the tassel also had like a, it had a thick plexiglass, like credit card shaped thing on the key ring. And you put that plexiglass thing into a receptacle in your room, and that's what made your lights come on. <laughs> So that was super cool as well. Uh, they are very, um, very much into conserving energy, conserving water. You know, you did not see a full-size toilet. You had what we called squatty potties. Um, you did have a bidet in your room, I mean in your bathroom, uh, no shower curtains and no washcloths. So that was, uh, that was different. Um, that was really different. Um, I, I mean, you couldn't take a shower in a couple of places we stayed, but you had a shower head, but you were expected to sit in the bathtub and take your shower. So there's that. If, if you're planning to go <laughs> to Italy, it's a little different over there. Uh, this is one of our umbrella guys, and that's from our sweet friend Donna. Lots of 16th century art, y'all. I saw art, 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 art. I saw Botticelli. I saw Leonardo da Vinci. I saw Michelangelo. We went to the Sistine Chapel. My eyes were so full that I, I was having a hard time processing everything that I was seeing. Um, it was just so much, so much art, culture, history, stories. I did keep a list every day of where we went and what we did, um, and I was, I highly recommend, I did that when we came home at night, 
I highly recommend you guys taking like a like a book like this, you know, like a, a little um, a little mini book, uh, and stick it in your pocket with a pen so you'll remember everything that you run across because I was overwhelmed at everything that I was seeing. Um, this is our little uh, vintage ephemera signature. We have a beautiful flocked card for mommy. This is from Georgie. Happy Mother's Day, Mama. And we've got Mother's Day coming up in just a couple of weeks. So I thought that one was really cool too. I think this one's from Oscar. We've got our beautiful Nielsen ephemera that features a great stamp. This is 1947. I like that this is in pen. This is written in pencil. And there's also a return address on the other side, which we don't often see in our in our ephemera. This is also the card making uh, signature for these books. Remember, we're making uh, we're making tents. We're making card tents for our desk. Uh, something beautiful to color and create. Lots of card work in there for you. And of course, inside here, there's a pocket full of fun as well. Yeah, that card was from Oscar. This is a um, a postcard from the Basilica of St. Marco. Churches. Oh gosh. Churches, churches, churches everywhere. Beautiful. Renaissance. Churches. Gilded. Works by Michelangelo. I, it was five minutes from our uh, from the place we were staying in Rome. We didn't even know that there was a Michelangelo five minutes away. More about that. So much to tell you guys. <laughs> it's so much fun to just be able to 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 know we're going to have such fun fun things to talk about. And I missed you. Did I tell you I missed you? Here's some fashion magazine ephemera from Italy. A little bit about a restaurant there. And this is very typical uh, of the way that restaurants looked. Very simple, very clean, very elegant, uh, beautiful designs. The, the restaurants were tiny, tiny, um, medieval-ish looking things. Um, Always family owned. I think the whole time I saw two McDonald's and one Burger King, uh, and we were there 11 days. We've got a little bit of pattern of pattern ephemera again from Carol. Uh, she just sent us some fun, fun stuff. This is a bit of crochet. We did visit Burano, and I got to see a woman actually making Burano lace. Very cool. Um, more Italian ephemera right here. Shopping, of course, big time shopping, but shopping does not dictate, y'all. Uh, I can't explain it. Um, it, it, it was mostly about small makers and small places, uh, family owned. Um, we were eating in Burano and our our um, server, uh, it was her family's restaurant, and when she served us olive oil, she said, we make this here, and I thought that was so interesting because that was kind of the story. We make this here. This is homemade. This is our family's recipe. So we've got that, um, this beautiful, sweet little journal. Thanks again, Carol, for that super cool fabric. Really do love that. Um, this is kind of a summary journal, y'all. We've had this fabric before. This is from my sweet, sweet art angel. And I love it because it's batik and it's kind of gypsy-ish looking, um, kind of hippie-ish looking, which is even more fun. It's finished off with uh, beads that kind of match this cover. And oh my gosh, we got all kinds of color, color, color going on here. Um, I did notice this morning that we've got a bit of bowing right here. So just always be prepared for that, y'all. You know, these journals are stuffed full. Um, so sometimes you do get bowing. Uh, these are food storage boxes, right? So, you know, you never can tell what's going to happen with them. Uh, this one starts out with be grateful for this day and a reminder that you are amazing and beautiful. Your story card is here. Your story book is there. Lovely papers, old cards. I think that I made some of this, y'all, uh, at the time that I was running out of ephemera big time. 
and I was telling you guys about it, that I was kind of um, just looking for things to put in the journals because I was really running out of ephemera. You know, luckily now, uh, leaving my clothes in Italy has given us a whole lot of ephemera, so there's that. <laughs> <laughs> this is an altered Rolodex card. It's kind of one of my faves that I've that I've ever made. So um, it needs needs to come home with you. It says love, and it's got a heart on it, and a sweet strand of uh, sparkly sparkly beads there. Um, you know, music, culture, art, that's king in in Italy. This is from the this is from Venice. And it is the Opera Balletto, Vivaldi, Four Seasons, and Ballet. So I wanted to include a lot of, look at that imagery. Now, this is a brochure to just pick up. I, it, was, it was totally all I could do to not pick up every single piece of paper that I ran across. Now, I got to tell you a funny story about that. So we walk in. Now, my suitcase is already getting heavy, and we've only been, we were in Venice for three days, four days. And uh, so we walk in the, <laughs> we take the hot speed train from Venice to Florence, and we walk in the hotel in Florence, and I immediately start to pick something up, and my sister slapped my hand. <laughs> All in jest, but still, it was like, okay, I get it, I get it. You know, I'm dumping clothes in order to bring home, bring home paper because I'm just, you know, I'm in love with paper. I love you guys, and I wanted to share the paper from over there. This is a beautiful illustration from uh, the Da Vinci Diaries, I think they call it. I'm sure that we've, you know, we've seen this before. Um, more pretty ephemera, just that everything I saw was pretty. I can't describe it any other way than that. Um, charming, medieval, small, 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 you know, small restaurants, small makers, everything. Uh, Uber, Uber is illegal in Italy because they feel so strongly about keeping commerce within the Italian community. So they encourage the, you know, the taxi driver, the, you know, the, 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 private cab companies and things like that. This is a package of stuff for you to play with. It's got fabric scraps and paper scraps in it. This is our texture um, texture signature. And of course, we've got napkins and deli paper, tissue paper uh, for you to do some collage work with. Got a little bit of bling right here for you. Um, Prima flowers, the the metal uh, the metal tape, and like I said, I'll point back to the the video that I did about how to use metal tape. This is an example of metal tape on a piece of grunge board. So just an example of of this signature and what you can make with it. It also has a lots of pretty papers in it. Love this little bunny tag right there. He just screams spring, doesn't he? Which I'm hoping that we'll have some spring or we'll have some summer. Um, the Italian weather was beautiful. It was 84 degrees and my sister and I brought bought jeans and uh, leather gloves and toboggans. We were way off and ended up kind of just wearing uh, the coolest thing we had <laughs> every single day. Uh, I have a Tuscan tan, which is awesome, especially this time of year. So that is the end of our signature uh, about texture right here. Got a piece of fabric for you to play with. This is a newspaper from Venice. We've got a little bit of writers and writing here. I love the, you know, we've talked about the colors of the paper. I was noticing it's time for me to start work at the farm, and I pulled out some papers that I had last year, and I noticed that. Um, it's crazy because those papers are yellowed from just staying in the sun on the days that we have festivals. This is some Nielsen ephemera, a little vintage greeting card just a little behind, a brand new star. I love the star imagery. This, of course, um, 
the roses are are they're not flocked but they are embossed very 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 pretty best wishes Althea Carson and Hugh too and this card is signed as well and I think we have a German dictionary here maybe some Swedish text pages all kinds of sweet stuff to play with um, this is part of the 1960 Audell DIY book that we've been using for quite some time. Beautiful illustrations, you know, from the uh, collective book of Shakespeare. I think it's called the Globe Theater book. These are border strips and, t and tickets for you to play with right here. And in the very back, we've got, um, this is a fabric tag that I made. And these things were really labor intensive and I, I have not followed through with making very many of them. Painty papers, this is from my desk. A beautiful postcard. Again, you know, this is a, an advertisement piece. This is Florentine News, a show that opened 10 April 2018. Beautiful text. Beautiful Italian language is so Oh, it's just like music to your ears. It, it truly is. This is our card making signature. So you've got all kinds of things to make yourself a table tent. Um, there's There are elements in here for you to play with. Lots of things for you to color and send along. You know, you can make birthday cards or graduation cards or Mother's Day cards or whatever with that signature. This is the um, interior of St. Mark. Basilica. This is the Bab Baptistery. Look at that. Can't describe what this looked like in real life. I mean, you're just so odd when you go in these places. I've never seen anything like it. Um, of course, everything there is older than, you know, anything here. Um, you know, you're talking about things that were um, that were made first century or people who lived in the first and second century. Um, the Roman ruins were exceptional. It was all just great. Uh, this is a little bit of fashion. And look, I found some Elvis Presley. <laughs> Got some mimeograph paper for you. And let's see what else is here. Marilyn Monroe. And we've got an umbrella guy. Umbrella trees, umbrella trees, umbrella pines are the trees in Italy, and they are stunning. So we've got a little bit of fabric for you to work with, and of course these costumes, and I mean, you just, just kind of get a sense of it. And it is this big, y'all. I mean, everything is huge. Churches, except for the little shops, and they're teeny tiny. <laughs> All right, guys, this is our little boutique book. And like I said, both of these are going in the shop a little later on this afternoon, as soon as I can get this edited and put up. I, um, I want to thank you guys. I hit 4,000 subscribers while I was gone. And what a sweet thing that was to come back home to, to know that, um, that I hit the 4,000 mark. And I just appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for your support in my Etsy shop. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for watching. And stay tuned for more stuff about Italy. Thank you guys so much. Bye.